Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, it's Wendy and I am going to do some uh, crafting in my journal. This is my personal journal and it was totally inspired by Johanna Clow. And it's got a whole bunch of linens on the top and it has seven uh, small signatures. So I haven't replaced this picture yet. I think last time we did, yeah, we just covered a, a frame and then I did a, a tag with a picture of my grandkids and that's in there uh, and so I know that in some of the pockets I have some pockets on the end signatures I believe <laughs> I hope I did this uh, and I think I put ah, things like this so I've got some supplies that I might use oh, okay we've got that in some of the locations and just wanted to see what I had and that maybe we would possibly do something with one or more of those in the time that we have in the video. So these are things that you could do with your supplies. You don't have to have a big journal like this to do it um, at all. So that's the journal. These are the things I have handy right now. Uh, and I think it would be kind of fun to make things, you know, that will fit in the journal that I can use as tucks and whatnot. So, with this one, I just kind of instinctively think it would be kind of nice to do a, um, a tuck. So this is a, a what is this called? <laughs> a time card? I think it's called a time card. So if I go like that, and put a little notch there. That would that would be terrific, I think. And we can cover. You can cover as much of that as you might like. Um, I tell you what, I have some things up here. I'm just looking at this. This is from an old book, and I think it would be nice, just like that. And I don't need it all. I can cut off about an inch and a bit. So we're going to do that first and then uh, go from there. So yeah, this is really just a, a craft with me, kind of a random thing. The fact that it's for my own journal is um, is not the, uh, the big issue. It, you could do it for yours as well. So I didn't go all the way to the side because I wasn't sure how far, how wide this was going to be. So I just went like that. And then I'm going to try and stay in frame and put this here like that. A little bit of glue there. I suppose we can use that glue, can't we? Because we're going to need to glue that other bit up. So we'll just cut here. Don't know if you can hear Arthur. He is playing under my desk at the moment. Uh, and if he gets close enough to me that I can pick him up, ooh, just walk by, then I will do that so that you can get another good look at him. Isn't that cute? Very simple. And like I said, you don't have to cover up the time card at all. Um, but I don't know. For some reason, that's what appealed to be to do today. So I'm going to set that up there. I could have covered this entirely with something as well. Uh, and if that was, if I was going to do that, I would do it before I notched it. Um, so we've got that. Okay. You know what? I have some, I'm just looking, I keep supplies near me here. I think something like that would be good. Um, I'm going to, actually, I'm going to glue it down and then cut the bottom off because I am, um, I want to go pretty close to the bottom. So I'm just going to go like that. I think that looks great. So how is everybody doing? I hope you are well. We are well. Um, Arthur is fitting in so well. Thank you all for your continued lovely, lovely comments about 
Arthur and about Leo because Leo will always be a part of this channel. So, yeah. So there we go. I think that looks really good. So we've got this as a potential tuck spot and we can set a tag in there now. I'm just thinking, do I have a tag that will, the already done, that would fit? I mean, this sort of tag, I think, is going to be a little too wide right now. Yeah, but you know what we can do? We can, I'm just going to grab my cutter. There's no reason why we can't trim the sides off a little. And as long as you trim off about the same amount from either side, then you're golden. So, hey Art, what you doing? What you doing? So we'll move that out of the way. You want to come and say hello? Rather than bite my thread, come and say hello. Listen to that motor. <laughs> Show them your pretty face again. Oh my goodness, buddy. You're so Arthur. You're so sweet. He's such a gentle boy. My goodness, you are. Maybe in my next video I'll put a chair near the desk and that way he can come up if he wants on his own. I may regret that. Give me a kiss. Off you go. Yeah, he's just a sweetheart. We're so, so lucky to have him. I'm just going to cut the corners like that. And, oh no, there he goes again. Arthur, no. No, no. Off you go. He's playing with the tripod. It's probably better if he was on the desk than on the tripod. I'm messing with the tripod, so I apologize for that. Hey, off you go. Go on you. So, yeah, that would go in here. And I would probably put a photo on this. Um, as well. Actually, look at this. I'm just looking at what I have available. This is from Tracy Fox. I literally did not plan that. It's just there. So if I cover this with glue and kind of center it on her beautiful digital, then I'll have a beautiful tag already in place. So I need to make sure that this top is sort of centered. And that feels like it is. So I think so. We're going to risk it. I think we're close to being centered there. But of course it won't be perfect. But as you all know, I'm not striving for perfection. Um, I'm just striving for fun and creative and really it is all about enjoying myself and I have to say therapy too to some extent you know if you're having a bad day if I can get um, to my craft supplies uh, then I'm a happy camper so we'll do this oh that worked out really well really well so that is, that can go in there. I'm just looking for where my ruler is because that makes a big difference. Put your ruler in and go towards the bottom and just move out a little bit. Then that can fit much nicer. I love that. So we've got one thing done. Uh, and then let's look at what else we might want to make. Um, I love the envelope. I think the envelope might be fun to use as well. Let me see. I've got some papers here. I keep papers uh, in a project. Um, sort of like a, a project, a bunch of trays underneath my desk. So I'm just grabbing. I don't know what I'm grabbing. Oh, this is lovely. Okay. So, um, that might be nice to do is to just... Uh, let's see, how tall is this? I am going to measure it. And it is Arthur, five and three quarters. So I'm going to 
I have to cut this at five and three quarters. It's just a bit of a challenge when it's this long. So let's see. Four and a half, so I need it to be around nine. I know what I'll do. I will fold it at four and a half. Now I need my ruler. Or thereabouts. Just gently kind of fold it like that. I don't mind if we end up with a bit of an extra fold. That's okay. So we want it to be, what did we say? Five and three quarters, which again is going to be, I'm going to have to measure it this way. If I had my bigger cutter, it wouldn't be a problem. So I'm going to cut it here, and then I'm going to have to cut some off the bottom. I'm going to save that for something else. And for a future project. And so let me see. Five and three quarters is about there. Okay, so let's give that a roll, Arthur. I've got a little scratching, you know, those like paper scratching things for him to play with. All right, so in order to put that on, I just put some glue on here, and now he's in my project pile. Arthur. I'm not a fan of you being so rotten with my papers. I'm just not a fan of that. And then I put a little bit of glue here. <laughs> oh gosh, I hope, I hope I'm going to be able to publish this video, but you know, it's a kitten. Buddy, you are nothing short of entertaining, that's for sure. So I did you can see that the fold is farther out than I need it to be. But you know what? I can still fold it there. That's not a problem. Um, just make sure I put glue on it. And get some glue down here. Like so. And down the middle. And there we go. So, excellent. Arthur, no. Buddy. He is playing hockey with a piece of um, paper now. So we'll cut that. I'd forgotten the amount of wrangling that sometimes has to happen when you've got a cat um, attempting to attack your uh, <laughs> whatever it is you're doing. Okay, so I'm going to cut at the top here. I'm going to bring it down a little bit because I know I went up a little higher than I needed to do. And I just kind of go up a tiny bit there at the corner. There we go. And then we can have, I think one of these cards will fit in here nicely. Yes, which would be great. I like that. Okay, because since this is still drying, it's not still not as firm. So I'll just leave it like that. And just move some of these bits out of the way. All right, let's see. I think it would be good to decide where we want to put these in the book at this stage and see what we do. So, if we had this somewhere like this, then we can decorate the front a little bit. So do I want that there? Or do I want this here? I kind of like having this here. 
if I'm honest. So let's do that. I'm just going to put it as a tuck. I'm going to cut the two top corners and glue that on. So I'll we'll put some glue here and down here. And see how we go. Arthur, go on. Hey, no, no, no. <laughs> I don't have any regrets, but um, he is definitely a little slap happy today. So we've got that there. And uh, let's see. I like, I like the idea of having this here, and what you can do, there's no reason we can't fold that backwards. Uh, and I'm just going to put that glue in there a little bit more. So we can glue that, set that there, and so we'll have a look. Do we want, so this could be a tuck spot back here as well. So I think what I'll do is I'll just put some glue down here. And put that there. Like so. Because what we can do is um, we can put like one of these, maybe this one. We can tuck it in here, but I'll wait till it's dry. We'll set it like that for now. And move this over so you can see. Sorry, everything got flipped a little, didn't it? You can see that this will flip out there. Could put a little washi on that if you want it. I'm going to do that. Grab. Get some of this William Morris washi. And I'm just going to tear it down the middle a little. And yeah, we'll set it like that. Now I'm not putting any glue on it because this is really sticky washi. Oh, that worked out well for the size that I, that I uh, put on it. So yeah, I'm happy with that. So we've got that, and I think it would be nice to decorate this. And I'll be able to write on the back, which is also really nice. And let me see how we're good for time. Where is... Where's my ephemera? Ah, okay. So I have some ephemera in here. Um, I think I want to have, like, a floral background. So... What have we got here that we could use? Got those. I think those are a little too similar to this, so I think I might want something a little bit different. Oh, I love that one. Okay, so we'll use that one on here. And I think I'll put it towards the bottom because I have small Instax pictures, and I'll just stick that like on the top. Um, but there's no reason why. Let's still some more of this. I can put a little piece of that on there. Let's keep these beautiful um, numbers on that other side. I'm just going to take that off. And I'm not throwing that out either because that can be used somewhere. So I'm just going to set this here on the bottom. This is some ledger paper from 1856. So we'll set that down here like that. Ooh. The glue comes out a little faster on this one. I'm not sure why, but Sometimes you want it to come out a little faster. I'll use the slower one or something else. What are you doing? Fine. Well, at least he's not moving the tripod, so that's a good thing, right? So I'm going to set this here. 
like that. And I have some um, I have some uh, tabs that I've cut, and I'm going to put that on the top. So essentially, when I'm making our which I think is the case for most of my journals anyway. I'm, I'm making a, a basis for things I can journal on or for things I can stick things behind. So I like to put like cards that I receive, um, you know, for holidays and, and whatnot. I like to set those in as well. There's my scissors, here they are. I must grab, oh wait, there's my quarter rounder. There we go quarter of inch. I have the worst time figuring out how to open this. Do you do that too? I really do. There we go. I always feel like I'm doing it wrong. And I was. <laughs> so just do a little quarter inch round on this. This is a We Are Memories Keeper uh, rounder. Uh, and then I'll be able to journal in the back there. Set that in like that. Um, we could put one on here too if we want it. Oh, that's a pretty one. Let's put this on this. Another little tab. I think I want that one in the front. Oh gosh, those colors are so pretty. That's a Tim Holtz uh, backdrops um, cardstock. It's in one of the kits. I couldn't tell you which one, but it is definitely in one of the kits for sure. So I don't know, um, maybe I'll wait to do this one. I think what I'll do though uh, is I want it to hold it in a little bit better. So if I put a little more glue, like just up here a little tiny bit, then when it does go in, it's got more of a little ledge to sit on. I'll just set it there for now. And of course we can, depending on how we're going to use it, we could put a pocket here, uh, which I may do in future and for holding items, but we'll see. And let's see, back here. Do a little decorating there as well. Um, sorry, I'm scratching my head. What would we like? I have some smaller. Oh, I have a butterfly. That might be really pretty there, actually. I like that. And then another one of uh, Rachel's flowers, I think, would be good. Um, you know what, let's use the iris because you guys all know how I feel about irises. Uh, if you've been with me for a while, you know how I feel about irises. Okay, so I'm going to set this guy down here. And uh, I see him going upstairs. Uh, so he will be probably going for a little nap. I had to go out yesterday for an appointment and um, I thought, okay, I wonder what he's going to get into while I'm gone. And he was so good. Um, when I got back, he was just laying on the bed. So remember that little piece? Let's put that somewhere. There we are. That's the side we want. So I'm just going to put some glue on here. I'm just going to put this, like, did I tell you that's a Tracy Fox um, kit that that is from. I want to have this up a little bit because I want to um, be able to see this iris when it's pushed down. Uh, but let's see if we have a label that's a size we could use for that. Hmm. do stick together. That's my only complaint about 
using these, um, this is a, a Rachel a label, of using those plastic little pockets. They, um, they do stick together. Do you have just any of the other of you who have used them? Have you had the same experience? It just, I mean, it's, trust me, it's no big deal, but... Sometimes when I go to, to pull the pages apart, they've stuck together enough. I mean, they're not permanently stuck together. That I do it with a bit of force and things fall out. So that's that's the part I, I'm not a fan of. I'm setting him there because I don't want to miss out on that ledger bit. And we will write on the back or put a photo on the back. Might put a photo here. I don't know. Oh, I have a have this beautiful tag and it's from a journal that I either received or I think it might have been from Jess um, that that might go nicely in here now normally I would stick it in somewhere that way but there's no reason why that couldn't go there for now I could put a photo on the back of that so I think that's probably it for us for today um, oh he's back so we've got a tuck spot, we've got a tag, um, and then on the back of this signature, we did a, a flip out with an envelope, like so, and we'll decorate that card in future. Um, and we did this card, uh, and it's going to be a spot for a photo as well. I'm just looking at photos here. This is an old one of my girls, so I can show that. So I would put that there, probably with washi tape, and have it sticking out. Actually, let's do that. Why not? Um, use some more of this washi tape. And I'm going to put it really up towards the top. Arthur. And I'm going to put this. Oops like so. What are you doing? What are you doing? And then just fold it over. And I didn't attach it with glue because I don't know if I'm going to keep this photo here. And when I know, I may go back. But you can put a piece of washi there as well if you want it to. And then I'll be able to journal. I'll probably leave it there to be honest. Isn't that cute? So this is them at the beach. Oh my gosh, a long time ago. Cutie patooties, I hope you can see. All right, so we'll set that in there. And we can go far enough down that it, um, just a sec. We can go far enough down that it will cover part of the photo or we can try and leave the photo out. It's up to you. I'm just trying to make sure I've got room in there. And of course it's not going to cooperate, just a second. I'm not at a great angle to see what's happening. <laughs> okay, let's go for it again. <laughs> go right to the bottom with this. I probably have glue somewhere I don't need to be having glue. That's probably the real problem here. Okay. There we go. I think it's hitting it's hitting something on the side there. So we'll give it one more whirl and if for some reason it doesn't work then I'll show you in a future video how I got it in. And I may have to trim this and if that happens that's not a big deal. Now it's still catching somewhere. Okay, well, you know what? We're good. We'll leave it like that. Oh, can you hear little mister? Uh, we'll leave it like that, and then that can flip open. But I will cut it. Are you coming up? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. He got up on my lap and then came up. My goodness, Arthur. What's happening here? All right, well, say goodbye to everybody. 
thank you all for watching and thanks again for your wonderful support of my new crafting buddy possibly supervisor that's going to be up to him <laughs> okay thanks very much and we'll see you next time guys bye